Hello, I'm back again. Hello, happy Saturday. I'm just trying to, here we go, bring it up online. Make sure the sound is off. All right, well, welcome back. This is possibly the last live Facebook of the day. I'm going to see how I'm feeling um, as to whether or not I do another one after dinner. But I'm feeling pretty shattered at the moment, so I'll have a glass of wine and see how perky I feel after that. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, wow, there's a few of you waiting. How are you guys? All right, where's everyone from? Let's see some comments here. Um, as part of the Great International Craft Show, I'm doing four live Facebooks a day. Way to commit to to getting out the free love and the free classes, hey? Um, ah, hello, Dee. Hello, Valme. How are you? Um, <laughs> Kirstine from just around the corner. Oh, cool. There's a few of you there. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Hello, Sonia from Adelaide. Um, so what I'm going to do today um, is this is my last live Facebook of the day at the moment, like I said, and I um, am going to talk to you about Lindy's Gang products again today and just make some quick and simple card fronts, make some simple projects. I did a, um, a project earlier today where we did some backgrounds. Let me just, I've still got those sitting here in front of me. So we use the sprays to create some backgrounds for scrapbook layouts. Um, and I haven't turned these into layouts just yet, but hello, Mari. Hello, Shizza. Um, So yeah, these are fantastic. I love doing these. Um, this is on plain Kayser Craft cardstock using one colour in the background called Sweet Violet Purple Teal. Then this is on marshmallow cardstock with a bit of stenciling in the background using a couple of colours there and you can see how awesome those shimmers are. Like that gold and that green together are just schmick. Love them. Then over here, I have got this gorgeous little number. So this was created using the moon shadow sprays from Lindy's with some stenciling on the background and you can see that shimmer. That is in the Lindy's Gang moon shadow sprays. And then finally, we did this one, which was just using a stencil with some moon shadow sprays and um, creating a simple background. So you'll find those uh, further back to on today's Facebook page. All right, so 15% off today only until I go to bed tonight, uh, nataliemay.com.au. All the products that I'm about to show you, plus the sprays, plus embossing powders, plus stamps and stencils as well at 15% off. So what that means is um, you get it cheap, 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 cheap. Alrighty, so let's make a little bit of a mess here. I'm just putting out my puppy training pad. This is my lovely tool for soaking up any extra water. Here in front of me, I have got some magical shakers and some magical magicals in pots. And it's just occurred to me, I need to get myself a fan brush. A couple of those. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some simple, easy patterned papers using the magicals. Uh, and then if I get time and if I don't run out of steam, I might make a little tag or a card or something like that. So I've got lots of different papers to work on as well. And I've also got my gel plate here. I might have a go, I haven't done it in years, at putting magicals on my gel plate, okay? So I'll see how I go with that. Okay, quick drink break. So Lindy's, Lindy's gang have been around, and I've, I've said this in the, a couple of other lives today, Lindy's gang have been around for 24, 25 years. They are a family business based out of Washington. Their product is created and packaged in Washington. They are not made out of China, which floats my boat in a huge way. 
I think that's super important. And it is a family business. It's a family legacy. Um, yes, I am, Karen. Send me a... Send me an email, babe. Um, and I'll pop it in the order book. Um, so, yeah, they're a family business. They're awesome. They know what they're doing. They are awesome at what they do. And they love um, sharing the sharing the Lindy's around the world, which is fantastic. I have been working with Lindy's for about six years. I am their master educator. Um, and it is my job to show you how awesome they are. So earlier today, we used these to create this oops, hang on, oops, 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 to create this project here. Um, so if you scroll back, you can see how we did that live on Facebook this morning. Um, really easy, super easy. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how another way to use the Magicals. So the Magicals are a pigment dye-based powder. This product and this product is exactly the same, but they have different packaging. A pigment dye based powder, the pigment means it's full of colour, the dye means that it is permanent, and the powder means that you need to activate it. It's as simple as that. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do the sprinkle and spritz technique on a few different pieces of card and have a bit of a play from there. I just need to get my paper trimmer handy and some cardstock handy. All right, let's make a start. So a couple of things when you are creating, sorry, I've just realized how crooked that camera is again. What's going on? That's a little better. Um, so a couple of things when you are creating. Uh, number one tip, don't wear white. It's a pigment dye-based powder. Dye means it's going to, if you lean over the table and dip your boobs in it, it's a permanent addition to your boobs. It's as simple as that. Um, no ifs and buts about it. It's That's how it works. So the cool thing here is that we've got these awesome little pots. So the pots are great. I've got flat magicals, which are the ones without colour. And then I also have some of the Starburst Magicals, which are the ones with lots of colour. There's lots of pigment and shimmer. So let's crack all these out. And I'll play with these ones first. And then I will play with the shakers after that. So I've got a range of colours. We've got some greens. Put all the greens together here. Oh, that's annoying. Sorry, guys. That's annoying. The absolute... Oh no, there we go. It's okay. There we go. Um, right, yes, my boobs will be pretty, Karen. Um, <laughs> so the, I've, I mean, to, to put it this way, I, uh, at the Canberra Craft and Quilt Fair, uh, no, it wasn't Canberra, it was Hamilton in New Zealand a couple of years ago. I spoke with a lady who wanted to um, colour her daughter's calisthenics leotard. And I, she bought in some fabric for me and we had a bit of a play and we, did this technique on fabric and it worked an absolute treat. She was super happy. Um, so yes, you can use it on fabric. You can use it on lots of different paper. So this paper here is just a plain cardstock. It's about a 220 GSM is what I make my cards out of. Um, what I want to do to start with is I want to use a fan brush and I've got a couple here and it's just, they're just fan brushes, nothing fantastic about them at all. Um, and they are dry, so that's important. Um, Karen's just saying, I didn't know that about the fabric. Yeah, absolutely. Um, look, I wouldn't wash wash it and go crazy with the in the washing machine with it, but, you know, the, and the shimmer will come off because the shimmer sits on top. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. All right, so as you can see, I'm dipping my brush very lightly into the Witch's Potion Purple. And there's not very much on here at all. And then I need to activate that powder. So this is where the good stuff happens. And this is where your pigment starts to shine. So this is just a plain cardstock. Um, and I should have sprayed the back first to stop the curling. There we go. All right, so you can see the purple is made up of blue and pink. There's the blue. There's the pink, yeah? 
that's the best. Oh, hang on a minute. Hold that thought. I just remembered to grab my black. Here we go. Um, so, yeah, your blue, your blue and your pink make purple. And I love that. That's just soaking in quite nicely. I've activated all the powder and I'm just going to pop that aside to dry. Um, I'm going to also, I've got some watercolour paper here. I'm going to try, I've got lots of different sorts of papers. I've just gone through my drawers and, and grabbed a whole heap of different, uh, of different papers just to have a bit of a play, just to see how they react on different papers. So this is a heavy weight, I don't want to say it's a watercolour paper, but it's, it's pretty pretty thick and it's a bit more ivory as well. So I'll do the same thing again, a little sprinkle and I'm not going to do too much. So that is Tibetan poppy teal and bam, there we go. So the more you activate it, the more the pigments come together. So you can see where the water has activated the pigments and they've brought it all together. So I could leave it like that, but the more water I add, there we go, I can cover the area and it is gonna end up looking like that. I can also add a second color to it. So if I add Sweet Violet Purple Teal, which I played with in the sprays, I can do that. I've got the fan going in here because it's been about 28, 30 degrees today and the fan is kind of blowing it around a little bit, but that's okay. But water is going to activate it. And it's going to stay in your fingers. So if you are a little precious, you will probably need to wear gloves for this particular sport. Um, what else have we got here? I have got... I've got some really thin paper. I think this came out of some sort of packaging that I had. It's pretty much like computer paper. So let's give this a go. I'm going to go with some Mountain Meadow Green. And I'm going to sprinkle that on. You don't have to use a fan brush. You could just use a dry paintbrush. I just like the idea of using a smaller brush. Um, I can put my put two colours on at once. So I've got a blue and a green here. And now I'm going to activate that. So when you spray your water on top, don't go in on an angle because it's just going to push the water that way. You want to go on top and you want to be confident with your spraying. You want to get it on there like you mean it. I also highly recommend making sure the lids are on everything before you spray just so that you don't end up with an overflow of water or activating your, pow your powder unnecessarily. Um, so there you go. So this paper is quite porous, meaning that it is going to soak in the colour straight away. Um, I, can, I can't really spread it around too much, but there you go. So that's kind of cool, a very good effect, but I've added a lot of water and the paper's super thin. So it is working, but it is not a great paper for this purpose. It might die cut up really well, actually, in hindsight. I'm just going to throw that on the floor behind, next to me because I can... What else have I got? Kaisercraft cardstock. Let's try that. And I'm going to use Bayou Boogie Gold. So this is one of the gorgeous gold colours. I could sit and just do this for hours and hours and hours on end. It is so much fun. Um, and it just creates the nicest and the easiest backgrounds. Now, this is, as you can see, a pink-based gold. I didn't add any pink, but there it is sitting on top of the card. So this is a really, really lovely gold, and it has a pink base to it. So let's add a bit more pink to it and make it really pretty. Now, this is... Ooh. Oh, that works so much better than I thought it was going to. Foxglove Fuchsia. 
In fact, I'm gonna add some more gold. Can you see what that did? That just rocks my world. So I've just added more gold, but I still need to activate that powder or it's going to brush off when I, when it dries. So I'm just going to put my brush in the middle and I still need to activate that powder. So with my paintbrush here, which is really dirty, I can grab that there and just kind of dissolve it around a bit or spread it down into here. Or I could just leave it alone. But you know what? I'm not going to. Okay. And now I'm just going to pop that on the floor. So that has come up looking pretty gorgeous. I really wanted to swear then and say something else, but I really love that. All right, so I'm just gonna let that sit. What else can we do? All right, so that is one, that's with the pots. I'll do the same thing with the shakers with the same cardstock to show you how it works with the shakers. So shakers here, um, shakers, exactly the same product, just different um, delivery system. So the shakers have got a shaker top and they've got a scoopy top. We want to be using the shaker top and this makes it really, really easy. Just tap, tap, tap. You're not say you're not shaking, um, you know, salt on your hot chips. You just want to shake it on there like that. Um, mine have been sitting for a while, so I tend to give them a little bit more of a shake beforehand just to fluff them up. Adding some Magnolia Magenta Gold to this now, and I still need to activate it. It just shakes on differently, okay? The more water, the more it activates, okay? Pop that down on the floor. Just remember not to get up and walk on it. Um, can I wet my paper first? Sure you can, absolutely. I'm going to use the... I'm going to use Bavarian Blue. With a little Lederhosen Laurel. So um, over the last few years, I've been traveling around Australia doing the craft and quilt fairs. I'm sure I have met most of you at that. And I have been doing this little project as a little card class. How many of you here watching did this sprinkle and spritz technique with me around Australia at different shows and have done this with me before? You all know how much fun it is. Surely a couple of you have done a class with me um, around Australia at the craft and quilt fairs. What else have we got here? Where's that really thin paper? All right, here's that really, really thin paper, like computer paper. And I'm going to use the black. Oh, Diane has. And I'm going to fluff up the black first. Right, so the black's probably my favourite of the shakers because black is not a colour. Black is a combination of lots of different colours. So to make up black you have to mix all of these colors together. So watch what happens with the black. I haven't used any other colors. I'm gonna bring it up to camera. Can you see that? Can you see all of those colors in the black? It is the best. It was the, it's just the absolute best. So black is probably my favorite. But if you use black by itself and you tie all of those pigments together, let me show you what happens there. So if I do this again, where did that black go here? So even if I put it down first, for example, 
sprinkle it on and get a paintbrush. It becomes black as soon as you bring all of the pigments together. So you can see how the product works. Black's the best example of how magicals work. So now I have black. So this is a blue black. Uh, I do have a solid black, which is this new one, which is black hole black. And if I flip it over and just do a little sprinkle and spritz on this side, it's slightly different. Let's just commit to it. So black hole black is lovely, but it has a little bit more of a shimmer to it. And this one you can see is a solid black. It didn't activate all of those other colors first. So black, black, black. And it has like a black shimmer to it as well. So pretty. All right, I'm just gonna pop that one aside over there. All right, and most of you would know if you've received a um, an order from me and you get a little thank you card in your order, this is how I've made it. So, here is my, can you see, like these are the little thank you cards. Can you see how what they look like now? It's all the sprinkle and spritz technique. So I kind of crack out a whole heap of them at once and have an absolute ball with it. Um, absolutely love doing it. Really, really good. All right, let's try something here. On This is on um, standard basil cardstock. You know, textured basil, um, like you used to be able to buy at your local scrapbooking store. I've just sprayed water on the back to stop the curl. And this time I'm just going to go with I'm going to lightly wet it on this side as well. And let's get some of these purples and blues going because that's a fantastic color combination. So I've got a little bit of Witch's Potion Purple. Lid back on. So I love a bit of a tip. If you accidentally knock one of these on your carpet and your cute little bulldog runs through the house, trampling it up and down the hallway because they think it's fun then vacuum it up don't wipe it up with a baby wipe because what's going to happen when you activate the powder it makes a bloody huge mess all right so now i'm activating the powder the more water you add the more the pigment comes together the more it does its thing Okay, I just want to add a little bit of green over in this corner here. So I've got some, actually, I'll use the Lederhausen Laurel. Oh, hi there from Amsterdam. Well, that's a little bit exciting. I better watch my Australian accent now. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to balance it out a bit now by popping a little green, but I'm trying to not mix it with the purple. So I'm just going to pop my finger down in this corner, spread it back that way so it kind of goes in through there. Uh, so that's looking fantastic. Pop a little back up in this corner, a bit of green up here. Just remember every time you add some, you have to activate that powder. The powder will come off if you let it dry. It's going to then be a little, uh, texturist in your hands, texturist, textural. I might go with a lighter pink, high maintenance magenta. Look, all of a sudden I've started watching my P's and Q's because there's someone from overseas watching. Like, there probably always is, but isn't that funny? Um, okay, so <laughs> there we go. Righty o So now just activating that powder that I put on. And I've created a really bright, interesting background. Um, you have to excuse if you can hear some some yelling the kids next door are having an absolute ball on their trampoline all right so now i'm just moving it around it's a little gritty up in here where i haven't activated the powder properly uh, but it will brush off when it is dry so i'm just going to pop this one down on the floor but you get a bit of an idea on what's going on here 
Got a job for Louise tomorrow morning. She's going to be mopping that floor. Gosh. All right, let's do the same thing on some watercolour paper. So watercolour paper that is designed to hold water. This is a 300 GSM heavyweight watercolour paper. This is my favourite thing in the world for using with Magicals. Every time, guaranteed. I'm just going to put a bit of water on the back to stop the curl. And now I'm going to do some sprinkle and spritz. So I'm going to use gold and magenta. So this is Magnolia Magenta Gold. Little sprinkle. And now I'm going to use Grab a Guy Gold. So I'm going to activate this. And I love the way that the watercolour paper holds the water and moves it around. Um, the only real watercolour paper that I, I really, really love is, is the one, the Express It one that I sell in the shop. It's the one I've got used to using for years and years and years. It um, is just really, really easy to use. So you can see what's happening. The water's bringing all the pigments together. I'm just gonna get up and shut that door. One moment, ladies. Sorry about that. I let a bit of fresh air in here this afternoon and um, of course now the kids are having an absolute ball in the backyard, which is good to hear. Um, not my kids. All right, can you see how that's looking great? I'm gonna tip off any excess liquid. I can move it around. It's got that movement. The shimmer is sitting on top. Now, all of the shakers have the gorgeous shimmer that Lindy's is known for. And that's great. The, um, so yeah, Lindy's is known to have that, that fantastic shimmer. The flat magicals, of course, which are these ones here, they've got the word flat on the top. They don't have a shimmer, but you can add some of the Glitz Magicals to the top, which I'm actually out of at the moment, but I do have some on the way in. Um, I'm going to use some Martian Magenta. And I'm really going to activate these and bring them together. Um, Sandra's just commented and said that she likes to use them on photo paper. Hey, that's a fantastic idea. That's really clever, actually. Oh, look at that. That is super intense. Just going to spray the back to stop the curl and pop it down on the floor. Oh, my. They look so pretty. Okay, uh, what else have I got here? Let's crack out the... Should I do a couple on the gel press? Like I said, it's been a really long time and I might embarrass myself here. But I'm going to put, I'm going to have a go with the gel press. Now, I'm going to leave it in the clamshell because, um, because I'm working on this background. So for those of you who haven't used a gel plate before, it is a, it's, it's a gel plate. Oh, I can't describe it. What's it. What is it? It's a gelatin surface. It's a super sensitive photo, uh, a super sensitive printing plate. Now, my gel plate is extremely well used, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is have a think about this. So talking it through, I have got a dry surface um a dry dirty surface but that's okay and i have got some water spray handy which is great i need some paper it's probably a good idea to have some of that pre-cut ready to go let's think that through a little don't even know what sort of that paper that is but you know what let's commit to it and i'll just do some small pieces Um, so, so the thing to remember, of course, is we need to activate the powder, yeah? So activating the powder means I'm going to need to add water to activate the powder. 
I don't know how... Oh, look, stop overthinking it. Let's just bloody do it. All right. So let's start with... I'll do some Sassy Sapphire. Oh, it's so shimmery. And I might pop a little green on there too, hey? Why not? Why not? Now, like I said, I haven't done this in a really long time. This may not work, but you know what I'm like, guys? Full transparency. So now I'm going to activate it. Oh, okay. Hell yeah. And now I'm going to pick it up. Okay, it hasn't totally activated and it's a bit grainy on there. But that's okay. That's okay. That's fine. Floor. I feel the need to, to do this. Feel the need to fiddle with it now <laughs> so i've got some blue here i have got some bavarian blue activate it because you have to activate it it does have to be quite wet and i think that's where you're going to get to something totally different with the gel plate and the magicals <gasps> oh didn't expect that Let's try some of this thin paper that I had sitting here because I had a heap of it and it was super porous. So that means it is super thin and maybe it'll react differently. Let's try this. Oh, okay. Okay. I like it running out of floor space next to me. Let's move this around a bit. I'm not going to add any more water. I'm just using my brayer to roll it around and go there. Okay. Um, yeah, I couldn't find my smaller gel plate. Um, it would probably work better on a smaller one, but in saying that, I can spread it out a bit better on the big one. <gasps> oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Way too excited again. Let's go with a bit of gold over the top of that. My gel plate's super shimmery too, by the way. Oh, that's orange, not gold. Well, stuff that up. So I'm going to make brown now because I have put orange on it, which I didn't really mean to do, but let's commit to it. So some more of this thinner paper. Oh, I don't like that. Fail. Quite, quite unattractive. In fact, so very unattractive that I'm just going to spray the heck out of it. And start with a clean slate. So I did mention earlier, for those playing along at home, that I haven't done this in years. Hello, Michelle Pentland. How are you, my love? I've missed you this weekend. Where have you been? Where have you been, girl? All right. So how about I try it with a stencil, hey? Um, what have I got? Let's find... Oh, by the way, guys, stencils are 15% off today. Stencil girl stencils, 15% off today. You need it in your life. Right, I'm going to put that down there. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Let's go with Witch's Potion. No, French, this one here. French vi Lilac Violet. And 
and I have to get closer to my mat because the fan's blowing it all up in my face. Um, some high maintenance magenta. Here comes my husband. What's he up to? Is he bringing me a, a cider or a gin? Because that would be splendid about now. I wonder if he, I wonder if my husband can read my mind. What do we think? All right, sprinkled some powder on there. You can't really see it, but now I need to activate it. Activation. Yes. All right, so you have to really activate it with water. There's no other way around that. So I'm gonna pop my stencil on and see what happens. I'm gonna use my cardstock and I'm just gonna grab it. Okay, grab too much in the middle, but that's pretty cool. I don't mind it. Don't, don't hate it. I will, I will get this right, I will nail it. Use a thin, shitty paper. Okay, don't hate it still. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. And I'm running out of floor space. Okay, let's keep on going. Let's see what else I can get. Dirty brayer. No. And I'm gonna lift it. I know you're all saying, Natalie, Natalie, lift it, lift it. Yeah, okay, it worked. Okay, okay. So it does work. Um, and then I've got this awesomeness sitting here on my stencil that I need to use. So we grab that. And we've got another print. Which will probably be the best one out of the whole lot. Oh yeah, that's pretty good down on the floor in the pile so yes you can use them on your gel plate as well yeah yeah deb i thought of you babe um so that is going to work a treat anything else you want me to do before i put this away because i'm having other ideas just waiting for you to answer because there's like a 20 second delay so i feel like i'm kind of talking to myself half the time I don't usually worry about cleaning my gel plate, but I'm just gonna. Do that. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit crap. Okay, so the consensus is close it, put it away. Radio. Let's put that away. And the stuff on the floor is still drying, so I'm just gonna keep playing here. So back to the paper. Let's get rid of that. Get my trimmer out of here. So for doing something on, you know, I've got my heavy drawing pad. So this is a, a drawing paper. It's a 200 GSM. It's got a different consistency, a different texture to it. Um, this is one of the pads of paper that I love stamping on. I, I do quite a bit of stamping on this and cut them out, cut images out for my art journal. It's the, um, I sell it in my shop. It's probably one of my favorite go-tos. Um, I'm going to do something in yellow. Oh, okay. That's a lot of yellow. Once it's on there, guys, you really got to commit to it. Yellow, um, yellow's really pigmented. You'll also notice I haven't shown you any red. I don't love the red. I'm not much of a red person, personally. Some people are. Like, I'm not a purple person, but I love the way that purple reacts in the magicals. 
but once you get this on there, you really have to commit to it because you just can't take it off. It's as simple as that. Okay, so we have some orange now. So orange in a shaker, just tapping it on. So remember, just a tip when you're doing this, you, you don't really want to shake it like hot chips, like I said, because, you know, putting the salt on hot chips, because it's not going to do you any favours um, putting too much on. It, it makes it a bit difficult. Uh, if I go with, oh, not, not the best combination, but I'll show you what happens if you put on a magenta. And I have just scratched my nose and now have purple on my nose. <laughs> This might work, it might not. But you have to activate that powder each time. So at this point, I could pick it up and move it around. I could grab my paintbrush, which is wet. Yes, Julie, I kind of did that this morning, Dal, um, in this morning's live. So Julie's just asked me to use it um, added to water and, uh, and, and colour images. So um, that's, yes, that's exactly right. And I did do that this morning. Um, and you can go back and watch the 10.30 a.m. live Facebook um, to see that technique, all right? So I'm not going to go over it too much now because I am dedicating this one to this sprinkle and spritz technique. Okay, now I'm going to be a little bit brave and I'm going to add some black. Because how bad can it go at this point, right? Now, black can be a little overpowering, but now I'm running out of water in my spray bottle. I'm just going to let that sit and do its thing. I'm going to fill up my bottle with the bottle, the water that I'm supposed to be drinking, but I'm not. Now I'm gonna cut all of these up, right? I'm gonna cut all of these up and they're going to become your thank you notes. They're going to become card fronts and I'm going to make a tag in a minute. Okay, so when you're looking at it going, what the heck, Natalie? Seriously, that's disgusting. Uh, it's an interesting combo of colors. Once it's dried, and we are working together with it. I'm just going to go all in here. I'm just going to add all the colours because that's what a lot of people do. Shoe flow. So you may get one of these in your order. Okay, this is gross. This is kind of cool. How can I save it? What can I do? I can get a piece of paper towel and do this. Take off the excess water before it goes gross and gooey. And I have made some pretty cool paper towel, if that's your thing. But I've just made brown, so I'm just going to put it in the bin. And now I'm going to put that aside to dry. But all of those colours are looking pretty cool. Okay. So I am going to start pulling out some of these little pieces that I have made to show you how they've dried up. So that's looking pretty nice. There's a little shimmer on top. I do like that. This first one that we did, that looks pretty nice. You can see that shimmer sitting on top there. They're pretty much dry. That's dry. All right, down to the floor. This is where I'm glad I go to the gym because I'm gonna have to squat down, stand up, squat down, stand up. Um, oh. I'll, try and, I'll try and squat down without grunting. Um, that one's pretty. You can see all those colors, how the pigment has just pulled there. And then stop. And this is all the different sorts of paper. So every time, every time you play with different paper, it gives you a different result. Okay, so that one looks all right. Uh, 
This black one. Okay, are you ready for this? That looks sensational. That's just one colour. One colour alone. Very awesome. Um, okay. This is the basil card stock. So you can see how the basil... These are all quite wet as well because I just threw them on the floor and you can see that it's wet all the way through. Um, and I would normally heat set these with my heat tool, um, which I will, I will do and post the photographs, but you don't need to see me drying things for the next half an hour, surely. Um, okay, so this one here is lovely, but you can see where I didn't dissolve the powder. So I didn't add enough water here to dissolve this or down here, okay? So what will happen is when that's totally dry, that's just going to brush right off and it's no longer a permanent thing, okay? Um, oh. oh, that one's still dripping. But it's super pretty. Like that bit up, up in here is really, really, really gorgeous. Um, what else have we got down here? This is nice. Okay. So this one here, this big intense bit here, this is the pigment sitting here where I didn't activate it all properly. So once this is 100% dry, um, once this is 100% this is dry, it'll be really, really dense in that part. Okay. So, sorry, someone's just got me a pop-up message on here and it's always the way. So you can see how amazing these are. They look fantastic. I absolutely love the way that you get these really, really awesome results and you get a different result every time. There's no possible way that you can get exactly the same result because you can't get exactly the same result because they are, because they're totally different each time. The pigment settles differently. It activates differently. It does all of these really different things. Um, okay, so what else have I got here? Um, okay, the ones on the floor down there, they can stay down there. So I'm going to dry a couple off and whip up a tag. Hey, what do you reckon? What are we going to do here? Let's get that out of the way. Let's get that out of the way. Um, any votes on which ones I should use? Why don't I... I have to crack up the heat gun to do that. Um, all right, I'm going to pop that one aside. I'm going to pop that one aside. I do like this that I did on the gel press. That's really, really nice. Um, so just while I'm drying a couple of these, a couple of notes. So this weekend is the great, um, greatest international craft show, which means that we are doing specials all weekend. I am doing today, we've got 15% off stamps and stencils. That does exclude Paper Artsy. It also excludes the Natalie May scrapbooking designs, simply because I'm already giving you the best possible price that I can on those products. And 15% off Lindy's, which is exactly what we're using here. All right, so 15% off the sprays, the embossing powders, and the magicals. So the magicals in the sets are actually your best value for money if you're looking at doing a little investing. Um, the sprays in the sets are also very good value for money as well. The, uh, I was saying before that the, the, the Magicals are great. They they can mix you can mix them with anything. Uh -huh. um, you can mix them with anything. So as long as you activate that powder. So you can mix them with modeling paste. You can mix them with texture paste. You can mix them with isopropyl alcohol to make an alcohol ink. It will actually work better if you mix it with hand sanitizer. 
because hand sanitizer has a water element to it to activate that powder and get that uh, get that flowing. Um, you can mix them with what else can we mix them with guys what are you thinking any suggestions we've used them on the gel plate we've mixed them with water today i've also mixed them with modeling paste today um, i did that in the previous video we can mix them with what's that one oh um you can mix them with so many different things it's just a matter of activating all oh, gum arabic correct to make some watercolors out of them which is fabulous there's so many very cool things that you can do you're only limited by your own imagination um it's really just a case of you going oh i wonder what would happen if you waste nothing but trying it you're probably going to create something amazing um you can use them on fabric you can use them on canvas you can use them on burlap. You can use them on watercolor paper. Uh, Michelle's just commented. You can use them on white acrylic paint. Um, I'll show you some other projects that I've done in a minute using them. Um, I've got my art journal sitting just here. One of my art journals. This is kind of like my use it up journal and i quite often just throw extra bits of pieces of you know bits and pieces on here so this has got uh i just painted it on left over from this morning's live and that's just onto burlap it's a bit thirsty it soaked it right in but it certainly worked and this is what happens i'm multitasking here sorry guys um this is what happens when you sprinkle and spritz on canvas out of your Dina Wakeley journal. Okay, so you can see see how it's worked there. Um, will it work with crackle medium? Oh, I've got no idea, darling, to be perfectly honest. I have not used it with crackle medium before, but like I just said, what have you got to lose by trying? Um, that is the sprays on burlap. That is the sprays on a stencil and then stamped. This is kind of, yeah, this is where I, I you know, if I have something left over after class, I throw it in here. Um, where's the other? I did have a couple of other samples floating around, but you can kind of see, you get the idea. It works on just about any surface and it soaks in really nicely. Um, I used it here to color her hair on that image. And then I mixed it with white acrylic paint on this page. Okay, so, and then painted it onto um, the canvas. So, yeah, totally just getting it done. Okay, on the floor, I need to get rid of this wet, soggy mess here. So, I'm just going to, and this is where the puppy, puppy training pad becomes a, a freaking godsend because all the water just soaks into here like that, and then you just roll it up and put it in the bin. Kmart. Kmart have got the best ones from experience. All right, so what am I going to do? I've got all of these gorgeous little pieces here. I'm going to... Oh, look at that. Can you see that? And it's quite... Oh, it's still wet. Don't stick your finger on it. It's quite intense there. Um, I think I'm going to use this one. No, I'm not going to use this one. And I'm going to use this one. I'm going to pop these ones aside. Oh, my rubbish bin just fell on the floor. Uh, okay, so a little earlier, well, after the last live Facebook and before the next one, I grabbed a couple of All and Create stamps and did a little pre-stamping and fussy cutting. I love these bugs. They actually come with a... You can get them with a die or you can get them without the die. So I got those all ready. And I thought I would make a tag. Uh, maybe not the bugs today. Maybe I'll make some ladies. I will. I'll make some ladies. Um changing my mind again because I can. Alright, scissors. Um, 
Sandy's just commented and she's made a really good point. Love how the colors are so vibrant, but can still be so soft as well. You can control this. That you can, sorry, you can control the intensity of the color with the amount of powder that you use. So for example, it can be soft by adding more water. The more water, the more it spreads out, but more powder becomes more vibrant. So case in point, here we go. Here's that super intense hot pink, but that's the exact same color over here where it's really light. So yeah, that's hitting the nail on the head there, Sandy. Love your work, babes. All right, so I'm going to make little dresses for these ladies, okay? So I'm going to take this here and cut up there. I'm going to make a dress that colour. I'm going to make a dress that colour. Two dresses. I'm going to make a purple dress just for Deb. Deb's my purple lady. Do you know we've all got purple friends? Well, Deb's my purple friend. And purple's my least favorite color in the whole wide world. As most of you know, I don't love it at all. And that's okay. Actually, I'm going to do this on an art journal page. What do you reckon? Don't you think that'll be better? I could do it on a tag, but that'd be boring. So, Trevor's just walked in with a gin and tonic for me. Oh, you're the best freaking husband ever. Thanks, babe. Um, let me just think. Just seeing if I've got an empty page in my journal to put them, put the girls in my journal. Yeah, I can stick them here. All right, so what I'm gonna do, oh, I had all intentions of making a tag. Cheers, ladies, to, um, oh, well, I did four live Facebooks yesterday. What day was yesterday? Friday, four on Thursday. So this is live Facebook number Three, four is a 12, 12. Okay, oh, and he's put the blood oranges in it too, which he knows are my favorite. Okay, so what I wanna do is I'm going to put my ladies on my page and I'm going to cut them into, cut dresses out of them, right? So to do that, so for those who are just tuning in here, I am totally working on the fly here. I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do until, <laughs> until we are here. All right. So that's kind of how I create and how I roll. So um, please don't think I'm unprofessional. I just, my brain just does not work well and I work better under pressure. So if you think, oh my goodness, this woman is a nut job, well, yeah, you're right there. But um, I'm a nice nut job. I'm a nice person and I love what I do and I love showing other people what I do as well. Radio. So she's going to go there. Then we're going to have this lady who's got a bowl of fruit on her head. She's going to go down there, so I'm going to cut that one out. Why are you, no, why are you, why are you none of you coming to my defence and saying, no, Natalie, you're not a nut job at all. You're a freaking champion. Oh, you are. Okay. <laughs> I forgot about the delay. Thanks, Michelle. I'm glad you were the first one there saying it. Love your work, babe. <laughs> Michelle's coming to my retreat. Michelle, I've got a, um, for those of you who don't know, here in Adelaide at the end of this month, I have got a, a, a scrapbooking, a, a paper craft retreat here in the luxurious Adelaide Hills at a fabulous resort 
in Handorf. And the lovely Michelle is coming over from Canberra to hang out with uh, me and the girls and 55 of my closest friends and favorite customers. Um, and we are going to have an absolute ball. That's the wrong color, isn't it? Why didn't somebody point out that that's just gonna look ridiculous? But here's another idea. Let's own it and I've just come up with a title. So can somebody remember that the title that I've chosen is Stand Out From The Crowd? You are the best ever. I wish I could. Mel, um, I'm sorry, darling. Why can't you make the retreat? There's no excuse, babe. No excuse. Oh, Michelle Pentland, are you Canberra? I can't, see, I just don't even write on your parcels anymore. The Australia Post just automatically, automatically prints them off. Me, there you go, you are. Kerry, Kerry, meet Michelle. How about that? See, we're all here to make friends. How awesome is that? Right, you two need to, I'm sure you both know each other anyway. How big's Canberra? Like, seriously, come on. You must know each other. All right, done, done, done. So, next thing needs to happen is just trying to find a black pen. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to make her bodies make her bodies work. So I need to continue the black stamping by adding a black outline. And I'm actually thinking that my art journal page that I've just chosen isn't going to cut it because I'm, I'm having these fabulous ideas now and it's all happening. So I'm just doing a little doodling because we all love a little doodle, don't we girls? Most of us do. That's really inappropriate. I'll have another drink. Okay, Mel, I totally hear what you say. Small business owner. Yeah, damn right. That's what we do. It really does need to go to her neckline. So I'm going to revisit that in a minute. So this one here with her bowl of fruit on her head. This one is probably my little favorite cutout here because the shimmer in that is super, super cute. Well, I think the kids next door have gone from playing happily to killing each other. Oh, bless. Anyway, done, done. Right, this chick here who's going to stand out from the crowd, she needs a black outline. Okay, Michelle and Kerri Ann, are you making friends now? Yes, good. Okay, excellent. Kerri Ann, you were going to come to my retreat. Are you coming to my retreat? I can't remember who's coming. You could fly in together. <gasps> How exciting would that be? Right, done, done. I've got a terrible, terrible memory. Sandy, oh, you don't know if you're coming because you've got some life happening, so. But you can come at the last minute. I would love that. And you can bring your... Um, purple-haired mate from Mount Gambia. What do you reckon? And then you can be a cabin buddy with me and Louise. Sorry, Louise and I. <sighs> anyway, as you were. I see you. Oh, Gaylene sees you there. All right, so now I'm at the point of going, I have to put these girls together and make the decision as to whether or not I'm cutting off their... Yeah, I've got to cut their necks off. It's a thing. It's a thing. All right. So what's everybody's Saturday evening looking like? 
Am I your highlight so far? Or has everybody got massive great plans? What's the go, girls? I'm just using some Nuvo glue here and I'm going to start putting them together. Like that. And in a minute, I'm gonna pull some of these um, magicals aside and do some coloring in here. Now, I'm gonna keep on going here because Trevor's cooking tea. Um, I have, he's bought me a gin. I have zero interest in getting off of Facebook at the moment and doing, um, doing life. So I'm on a roll. If anyone else needs to be somewhere, just know that you can come back at any time and watch this, okay? That doesn't fit on the back, but her little collar, I'm gonna come in when it's dry and just cut off the bits that I can see. Stay. Um, yeah, so you're welcome to, oh, Giovanna, Gigi, how are you, my lovely? Oh, all my friends are coming in. Look at you guys. Um, I don't even know what I was saying. What was I saying? Oh, talking about drinking gin and not going inside to do life because Trevor's cooking tea. He's in there watching football now anyway, so it's fine. He doesn't even know I'm missing. But mind you, Sandy, I'll get you to message him when my drink's empty. How's that sound? Michelle's finishing an assignment. You're a great distraction. Oh, I love a good distraction. So this little stamp, these heads that I've got here, they are from an All and Create set. And they there's also some guys as well. I kind of like the guys too, but I'm going to commit to the girls tonight. If you catch my drift. Oh, yeah, gee, look, mate, um, I've missed you. Your, I've done, this is, I've just said to, just said to everybody, this is um, live Facebook number 12 for the weekend so far. And I've got four more tomorrow. So tomorrow I've got another awesome special. Do you want to know what tomorrow's special is going to be? I'm not telling you. <laughs> All right, I'm going to come in and cut off her head in a minute. Oh, bloody hell, I love that. Love it, love it, love it. Right, let's just put my gin out the way, get the bugs out the way. And while those are, the, the glue's catching on those, I'm just going to have a quick look in my little junk journal here and see what sort of page I can pop this onto have you guys you, you've all seen the junk journals yeah this is this one's nearly finished this is the uh scrap effects junk journal i've got a couple of different ones in my shop this is the scrap effects one um that i started first so most of these pages that you're seeing are pages that i have done in live facebooks so you can jump onto my youtube have a bit of a look oh gosh i love that shimmer paint by the way have a bit of a look at the pages and you can recreate them all there. This is using the new Vicky Booten gel crayons, which are damn fine. Um, but I've done all of these pages live on Facebook. I think, I think the girls, oh, see, they're too big. I say in the whiny voice, what is that about? All right, junk journal number two. Let's pull out this one. This one I know is fine. This one has got plenty of pages. Oh, here's the scary denim page. Oh, I think they look pretty great on the scary denim page. We have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to do it on the scary denim page. Okay, so this is another one of the junk journals. This is the um, the limited edition junk journal from Scrap Effects. So they've got a manila folder at the front. Um, this is a page that I did live on a Facebook. This is one I did for Lindy's, I think, um, using Magicals as well. This is all Magicals in here. That's acrylic paint. Acrylic paint using the brand new gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous Tandy stickers, which I love. That was yesterday. Did I do that yesterday? 
maybe. Anyway, so what needs to happen is I need to quickly colour their faces in. Okay, so I'm going to put this on the heavy denim page. How do I colour their faces in? I get a super fine paintbrush. I'm going to grab, I might do all of their hair first. Um, I don't have the brown handy, but that would be great about now. And I'm just going to use my wet paintbrush, apparently wet, dirty paintbrush, dip into my tub and just make a little puddle of Lindy's on my, uh, on my mat, okay? So from here, I can just use them like watercolours. Done, hair, done. And they're all gonna have the same colour hair because I just can't be bothered walking over to get the brown. Um, <laughs> um, I'm reading the comments. I hope you guys are all entertained reading the comments like I am because I think you guys are fantastic. You, you guys are, are fabulous friends. You're all my people. I do love that. Um, okay, so we've just coloured those. You see that tiny, tiny little bit of touch of colour on her noggin there? Put the lid back on. I always put the lid back on because I've been caught out dropping this on the carpet way too many times. We're about to pull up our carpet here in Adelaide. Um, and I can't wait to pull up that flaming carpet uh, just quietly. We've had the same carpet in our house for like, oh, right, for 17 years. Because Jessica's 17. Look, there's still a little bit in there. I just need some orange. Apparently, apparently, Mango Mania is a very well-used colour. Oh, look at that. But there's still enough. There's still enough on here. Just to get a little colour. Splendid. And I want some of this magenta. Just a, just a, just a freckle. I nearly washed my glass, uh, washed my brush in my gin. Let's not do that. So you can see I've made this tiny little puddle here, right? Oh, it's probably super tiny on your screen. Sorry, guys. Um, but the, the, the more water I add, the more toned down it becomes. I can keep it super bright by not adding much water, or I can make it lovely and intense. It is completely up to my discretion as to what I wanted to make it, you know, to match in with this just a little. So I've gone a little blotchy. Um, so while I've got some of that colour out, I'm going to grab some magenta. Magenta. So two weekends in a row, Sandy, we get to hang out together, babe. You know, the difference is, is we are drinking separately tonight instead of together, which is what we did last night. So for, for those of you playing along at home, um, Sandy, who's currently watching and chiming in, Sandy lives down on the southeast, southeast, is that where you are, Sandy? Southeast? Um, of South Australia. So uh, last weekend, Trevor and I took our weekend off, which we both desperately needed like epically needed a weekend off i haven't had any time off since covid actually i didn't i worked all through covid who am i kidding um anyway so trevor and i went down to mount gambia for the weekend to hang out uh which we loved had an absolute ball with needed to get away um and got to hang out with a couple of my favorite people um have a few drinks sit on a chair and do nothing. I need to move that because that's three times I've nearly washed my brush in my gin. There we go, the southeast of South Australia. It is a beautiful, beautiful part of the world. It really, really is. Um, the southeast is, is predominantly untouched. Lots of gorgeous small country towns, uh, and and really really lovely excellent if you're doing a road trip oh oh my god did you see that um <laughs> okay oh no he's gone now and he took all my shimmer is that not the funniest thing what the heck oh that's super funny 
Anyway, as I was saying, the southeast of South Australia is full of amazing places to go and check, especially if you are wanting to caravan and travel and, you know, do a few things like that. Um, if you're one of those people who can live in a caravan, I'm not. Um, so, yeah, really, really cool. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Trevor and I did enjoy a weekend. And if you go back and have a look through my Instagram, you will see some photos of a couple of the places that I visited. Um, me having a drink with some friends and a whole heap of other stuff that you probably don't need to see but you know what i'm putting it out there so that's fine all right a touch of yellow i do need the red don't i for the apple but do i but do i really Ah, um, yeah thirsty flies in, in south australia that's an understatement i can't believe that just happened can't wait to watch that back it's funny louise will come into work in the morning and go how was your how was your live and i'm like oh you know really good disrupted by a fly just all the things funny 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 so are you are you loving I, so what do you think about louise i should say are you loving me having an extra person help me out here in the in the studio i don't feel so overwhelmed now that i've got a another set of hands in here um it makes a huge difference to my uh, to how calm I am here in the studio as well. So um, Louise is a bit of a champion. She is my sister. And long story short, um, I didn't know she was my sister until I, I didn't meet her until I was in my teens. So um, that's a cool story that needs a whole bottle of gin, not a halfer. I've just turned that into an orange, not an apple. Okay, nobody knows. Um, so yeah, Louise and I get along. We are essentially the same person. We have got, we, she finishes my sentences. She knows what I'm going to say next. It is super weird. Considering we didn't grow up together. It is just the funniest thing. Um, she comes into work and we both talk about exactly the same dreams that we've had and stuff like that. It is super funny and super weird. So, um, love the shit out of her. She's just been my lifesaver for 2020 and 2021, I should say. All right, so I'm nearly done. I just want to add, um, I'm looking, what I'm doing is just picking out colours that are in here and adding them very, very, very lightly to my background. So it's nothing more than taking a fine, you know, I'm putting on that, Oh, I don't know that you can even see that, but it's there. A super tiny amount onto the tip of my brush, activating it, and then that's enough to add a tiny amount of colour. So that's where magicals are magic. They can give you a little bit of colour in the spots that you need without overdoing it. And I think that that's really important. Um, I do need to get my red. I need it now, I've decided. So I found Cuckoo Clock Cardinal, which is the red shaker, because the girls need some cheeks, yeah? So red is, is super pigmented. It's super powerful. And why didn't you tell me that I'd left the lid off of that? Cheers. So the lovely lady from Amsterdam, I hope you're still hanging around. And I'm, you do realise I'm just super cash, super casual. That was a bit Australian, wasn't it? Super cash. And very honest, telling it how it is. Oh, that's better. Now she's got some rosy cheeks. Cheeks, cheeks, lips. And I'll bring these up to camera in a minute so you can see how how messy and dodgy they are. Oops. But how um, how effective this little tiny, tiny little bit of colouring is. 
if you can allow yourself to not be so perfect, I think that they look better that way. As well, I think that they work so much better if they're not perfect. I'm going to pop a little bit of sassy sapphire on the mat. And I'm just, you know, so little amount that I'm taking it off of the lid. Because their eyes need a steady hand and a touch of blue. Okay, girls, so what I need to know from you is have you enjoyed the, sh the weekend so far? From a, from a proper business grown-up point of view, are you enjoying the weekend of live Facebooks? Are you enjoying the different specials every day? Do you think I'm, I could be doing something differently? Um, do you want me to share the love on what's happening tomorrow? Because I'm still not going to do that. <laughs> Give me some feedback, guys. What could I be doing differently? How can I make your shopping experience better? And don't say something like, don't give me so many options in the shop or whatever, because come on, seriously, that's what my business relies on. Thanks, Gail. There she is. Yes, yes, but I wish I had more money. Oh, honey, don't we all? Don't we all? Actually, you know what? I don't need more money. I just need more time. If I had more time, things might be different. Time is like a, a super valuable thing. You are really good explaining the products and then I can buy them. Oh, thanks, Donna. You know the difference? Okay, so my, my background, before I did all of this with you guys, look how cute she is. Um, my background before all of this was I worked in a scrapbook store. I worked in a scrapbook store here in Adelaide. So my job was to um, to help customers in the store. I Working in a scrapbook store for 13 years meant that I needed the sales experience, yes, and I got really good at selling the things, yes. But if somebody walked in and said to me, Natalie, I have this ancestry page project that I have to do, or I'm working on this ancestry album, or I want to do a war page, then I need to be able to know how to do that. I needed to be able to match photos with, um, like for scrapbooking. So I used to teach beginners scrapbooking classes as well as, um, as well as advanced scrapbooking classes. I needed to be able to do mixed media, but in the ne but the next day I needed to be able to teach tags. Um, you did meet me there, go. Um, I need to needed to be able to do ancestry or shabby chic. So that was awesome. I I had to be able to do all the things, and as soon as a product a new product came in. I needed to work out how to use it. I needed to be able to know the ins and outs of the product to be able to sell it to you so and tell you whether or not you needed it. That's that's what I did. Um, I, I found that before too long, my knowledge of the products was fantastic and it was nothing more than having confidence and knowing what I was doing and being able to you know i believe in what i'm doing i love what i'm doing i think i'm i'm absolutely passionate about what i'm doing and that counts as well so i love that um okay i'm just looking for a stencil that one so yeah that's my that's my background i you know knowing the difference between um the knowing the difference 
between what you want and what I want is really, really important. Listening to what my customers want and, and, and chatting to you is, is how my business runs. Um, I have an understanding of, how, of what you need. Sorry, I have an understanding of what you need rather than what I need. Uh, because without you, I don't have a business, do I? Does that make sense? So that's my theory. Um, you can see what I'm doing here. I've got some gesso. I just want to give the girls a little bit of something to sit on because they can't be floating. So this is my lumps, my lovely lady lumps in the back and in the front. Check it out. Okay, I just got a message from somebody on Facebook paying for their retreat. Thank you. Um, so yeah, I, I, you can see how, I guess that's how my brain works. So, you know, tomorrow I'm going to be doing, um, what am I doing tomorrow? I'm doing alcohol inks in the morning. I'm going to play with alcohol inks and I love alcohol inks, but it's not something that I'm, I'm fluent in by any means. But it's something that I can make work for the projects because you guys need to know how to do them. You need to know how to use them in your crafting. So if you want to know how to use alcohol inks in your art journal, do you want to know how to use alcohol inks on card fronts? Do you want to know how to use alcohol inks on your scrapbook pages? Do you want to know how... So this is, this is how my brain works. How would you want to use the product? So... Um, if that makes any sense at all. All right. Um, Dana's just said she'd rather give her money to someone passionate about small business rather than the big businesses. Yeah, um, I, I agree with you. Um, I kind of feel, and, and this isn't about me by any means. This is about my recent experiences with the big businesses. Not, not naming anything American Crafts. Um, but, you know, I... I think that giving your money or, or, or helping out companies that genuinely are interested in helping you makes all the difference as well. Does that make sense? Um, gesso on denim. So, you know, for example, I've had a couple of problems with American Crafts lady, lately. American Crafts are the company that are supplying me with the papers for Vicky Booten's um, color study kits, which I'm doing exclusively for Vicky Booten because I love the shit out of that woman. She's a champion, right? So Vicky is awesome. Love her. But American Crafts, I ordered exactly the same day as Vicky did all the products for the kits, right? And they still sent out all of the stock to all the big businesses like Spotlight and Michaels and Joann's and all of that, even though I ordered, you know, a substantial amount of product, we would say, they're not looking after the little people and that sucks. They're not, they're not helping out companies who are helping their designers it's just a thing. Um, girls, I'm just using my puzzle glue, as you saw there. I should probably clean that up before I put something in it, yeah? Um, so, yeah, big businesses, small businesses. I still buy from a couple of fantastic Australian scrapbook supply shops. There's stuff that I don't have that I send people to that I think um, also deserve great support this industry is only so big there is absolutely no point in in slandering another company to make you look good or make you stand taller it doesn't that's not how it works it just makes you look small so um i know i just slandered a big company and it just made me look small but and i look like the idiot for that but you kind of get what I'm saying, yeah? She's going to sit there. And I'm going to foam tape her. I want her to sit. I want her to stand out from the crowd. Um, 
<laughs> so Emma's just commented saying, um, I love that you do this, throwing us the free live class sessions. Okay, and giving away all my secrets. Yeah, I know. That would be the not me, me eat, not eating today and also drinking gin at the same time as teaching, yeah? But here's the thing, Emma. I also do the paid art journal classes online. So I give a lot more in those classes and there's a reason why they're 26 bucks and you know I know that you guys will support me by doing the paid classes and buying the product as well as taking in the free stuff. If you're just here for the free stuff then okay that's fair. I'm gonna sneeze hang on. <laughs> oh excuse me. Um, now Deb, no, I don't, Deb. Um, so, yeah, you can kind of, you know, and I, I appreciate your support. I could, I could do this for hours and hours and hours, but it's, it's not how I can make a living. I need, to, um, I need to pay the rent. I need to pay the bills. I need to sell the stock to bring in the new things. I need to do all of those sorts of things. So me giving away myself for free every now and again... Yeah, I, you, you know why I need to do it. Anyway. Foam tape on here, just so this girl sticks out. This new Ulta new tape that I got in this week, it's the expensive one. It's like 45 bucks for the roll, right? But it works out to be like, I think, $1.37 a metre. It's actually quite inexpensive. The Australian one that I use, the Express Graphics one, is uh, $1.56 a metre. I could watch you for hours. I've done it all day. Oh, honey, thanks. And I appreciate the fact that you're actually listening to what I'm saying because it's nice that somebody in this house listens to me. Because seriously, when you've got a teenager and a husband, well, you know, the husband's fine. He still likes me. Not necessarily all the time, but, you know, that's what marriage is all about. Um, Emma, I didn't say that to make you feel guilty, sweetie. That's that you seriously you must know that from me now. Um Okay. Oh, for goodness sakes, just get off my finger. This stuff sticks like <laughs> like glimmer mist like um glimmer mist. Glimmer mist, wow. Like Lindy's to a fly. Where's that glittery fly that's running around? Glimmer mist. Do you remember glimmer mist? Did everybody have glimmer mist? That was a good there's the fly. Get out of it, mate. Glimmer Mist was years ago, wasn't it? So Glimmer Mist was water with shimmer in it. It had no colour. It was the worst freaking product on the market. I wish I had known about Lindy's back then and I would not have wasted a ton of money on Glimmer Mist. Anyway, all right, here we go. I made that look really hard. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so the girls are all here. The gang is all here now. Let's get these girls. Oh, they need, um, I need some words for them. They need some sort of um, statement, some sort of statement piece. I need to work out how to do that. Sorry. Um, I need to think about how to get my title on there because I'm working on denim. I've glued onto the denim page, which is great. I also have them floating here. So I'm thinking about giving them some little legs. But we're going to mess that up, aren't I? All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that for tonight. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to come out here and I'm going to do that. Um, I may go back onto the Natalie May scrapbooking group tonight and do a live Facebook, but I'm not going to announce it. I'm going to see how well this gin goes down, see what um, what Trevor has is cooking for dinner. It's 6 p.m. here in Adelaide. I haven't seen him all day. I really need to go and hang out with him for a minute. Um, and then I will let you... Oh, yeah, you know the drill, girls. Um, I really appreciate that you have sat with me for the last hour and a half we have made some gorgeous gorgeous backgrounds with the gel press with some lindies we have had a big play 
where you've done sprinkle and spritz techniques with all of these um, to make all of these backgrounds. They look fantastic. I love that. So the Lindy's are on special until that until I go to bed. So really, I'm just reading the comments. Um, so yeah, I I I tend to think about. Sorry, I'm just reading the comments at the same time. Okay, I'm walking away from that. So the Lindy's are on special until the till I go to bed. They are fifteen percent off. Stamps and stencils are also 15% off. What is not 15% off is the Paper Artsy products that came in um, a couple of days ago and the Natalie May scrapbooking stencils are not on special. Wash your hands, kiss your kids, kiss your husband, kiss your significant other. Be grateful for what you have here because it could be a shit ton worse. Hashtag India. So, um, you guys are fantastic. Thank you for your support. Um, jump online to nataliemay.com.au and know, uh, please know that your, your purchasing is appreciated. Um, we love your custom. We love your business and we love your friendship. And um, <laughs> thanks, Kerri-Anne. And I look forward to chatting with you all really, really soon. Bye.